In the summertime, a common question I get from homeowners is why is my upstairs hotter than my downstairs? This has a few different reasons for it, but there are a few simple ones and a few things that we can do to help. The main reason is, is that hot air rises. So unfortunately, no matter what we do, it's always gonna be a little bit hotter upstairs. So what we have to do to try to fix that is address it from the HVAC side of things. The main problem on a normal two-story house is that your thermostat is on the first floor. So it is reading the temperature of the air around it. So the first floor is gonna cool down much sooner than the second floor and the system is gonna shut off. So while your first floor may be 70 degrees or whatever you have set your thermostat to, the second story could still be hotter. And as the summer goes on, this problem is just going to get worse as the system is prematurely shutting down because the first floor is satisfied but the second floor is not. Now to fix this, you do have a few options. The best case scenario would be to have two systems, one for the first floor and one for the second floor. But if your house was not designed for this, that can be tricky to do. You would have to redo all of your duct work in order to accomplish this, because on most houses when they build the system, all of the duct work is tied into that one system. So if you have a house that was built for two systems, you're good to go. You'll have one on the first floor and one on the second floor. In fact, my parents used to live in a house like that and they used to keep their second floor at 68 and the first floor at 70 with no problems. But like I mentioned, that can be really expensive. You're gonna have to rip open your drywall, redo duct work, and that can be a pain. Another option is you can try to do zoning, but the same issue occurs there. If your ductwork was not built originally for zoning, it can work, but not always the best. The problem is with zoning is you have to block off each run or piece of ductwork to a certain floor in, in order to zone properly. But if your ductwork isn't set up for this, you're gonna have a lot of dampers and a lot of zones. The other problem that can occur when you try to do zoning after the fact is that you may have a system that needs to move, let's say, four tons of cooling. And when you only need cooling for the second story, that'll be too much. So unless you have a variable speed fan or some way to modulate the airflow, you could run into static pressure issues. What I would recommend as the easiest and the best way to get your upstairs to be cooler would be what we call a mini split system. Many split systems do not need any duct work. They are, most of them, ductless. They're very easy to install as you have a head or an air handler that'll mount to the wall. It actually draws its power from the outdoor unit, so you don't even need to run electrical wiring to the indoor unit. You simply run a wire from the air handler on the inside to the outdoor unit and it draws its power from there. It's as easy as mounting a bracket on the wall and drilling a hole through your wall to run your line set, your drain, and your wire. We do offer many different types of mini splits at HVACdirect.com and it is something that you can have your licensed technician install for you. Most brands are okay with you doing some of the legwork, but of course we always recommend having someone EPA certified do the refrigerant side of things. If you do go with a mini split, it is nice. It is controlled room by room, so you can have individual rooms at different temperatures. If you don't want to go with a mini split or if you don't want to do any changes to your system, one of the easier and simplest things that can help a little bit is running your fan all the time. When you run your fan all the time, you help circulate air throughout the house. It helps mix some of the air downstairs with some of the air upstairs. This isn't a perfect fix and to be honest, when I was out in the field, most of the time it wasn't enough to fix the problem, but I did have customers who would mention that it helped a little bit or at least enough. Uh, another thing you can do is you can upgrade your furnace to have a variable speed motor. That variable speed motor will ramp up and try to push more air through the ductwork. They even have motors now that you can put into existing furnaces to upgrade from what we call a PSC motor or a motor that is not variable speed to a variable speed option. That would be maybe one of your cheaper options, but not the best option. Another option to try to help with your upstairs being warmer than the downstairs is certain thermostat brands do have remote sensors that will take an average and display that on your thermostat. How that would work is if your downstairs was 70 degrees 
and your upstairs was 80 degrees, the thermostat would read 75, right in the middle. Well, this is not a perfect solution. It does have the system run longer because even though we've reached the temperature of 70, it's going to display 75, keeping your system running, averaging out the temperature between the first floor and the second floor. The only downside to this is you may slightly overcool your first floor while you're trying to cool down the second floor. But it is an option that is normally pretty easy to install as many of these sensors are uh, wireless where you don't have to run wires and they can run off of Bluetooth and it makes it easy for a homeowner.